there's far more genes than there is chromosomes. So that means that there must be a number of genes on every chromosome. When genes are found on the same chromosome, we say that the genes are linked. So this video is about gene linkage. We've previously seen that when we do a dihybrid cross with uh, genes that aren't linked, that we have this ratio. So we have that dihybrid cross, and remember it was the phenotype ratio. The phenotype ratio was 9, 3, 3, 1. However, that is if the genes are on different chromosomes and there's independent assortment so that the genes are totally independent of each other when they sort. In linked genes, they're on the same chromosome. So they, the two genes are actually associated with each other. The way we express linked genes is like this. So let, we've looked at that example of the smooth and yellow um, seeds. Now, when we discussed it, we said that it was uh, a, a, a classic dihybrid cross where they're on different chromosomes. So the phenotype of 9331 occurred. But what we're going to do now is see what would happen if they're actually on the same chromosome. And the way we express that is that, remember, that the, um, the capital S was for smooth and the capital Y was the dominant allele for yellow. If they're on the same chromosome, we express them like this. Okay, so we're talking about hybrids. So that means it's the um, heterozygous state. So that means we've got uh, the two different alleles present. So it would look like this with linked genes. So if we talk about our smooth yellow as being the dominant allele, and then we have our small uh, small s, small y, being the green wrinkled. So that's a hybrid. These are the two alleles. So if we cross two of these plants with these linked genes, let's see, let will do a, um, a Punnett square and see what happens. So we've only got two options for our alleles here. Because they are linked, we've only got capital S, capital Y, that's one, and small s, small y as the other. Capital S, capital Y, small s, small y. Okay, so let's see what happens when we, um, when we cross these. So we've got this situation here, we've got capital S, capital S, capital S, capital S. And we've got I'm going to do the, the, the capitals first, so capital S, capital Y, small s, small y, and then we've got capital S, capital Y, small s, small y, and then finally we've got small s, small y, small s, small y. Alright, so let's have a look, what are these phenotypes going to be? So this one is going to have the smooth yellow phenotype. So is this because it's dominant, because it's present, and so is this one. So we're going to have three. So we're going to have three of the smooth yellow phenotype. But we've got this one here. We've got one green, uh, one green wrinkled, wrinkled green. So we have got one wrinkled green. So we have a. Um, a dihybrid cross ratio of three is to one. So it's certainly not the 9331. So one of the reasons why we wouldn't get a 9331 ratio with a dihybrid cross is if the, the two traits are on the same chromosome. And what might that look like? So we've got a chromosome here. And we might have we might find that we might find that the smooth or wrinkled chromos uh, gene is there, and we might find that somewhere else along the chromosome 
is the gene for the colour of the seed. So we don't get independent assortment, they're linked, and that's what we call gene linkage.